We also want to look at some uh, implicit differentiation where you need to use the product rule, OK? I want to differentiate the following with respect to x. So I'm trying to differentiate x, y with respect to x. You're going to be doing the product rule here, which means you're going to say that u is equal to x and v is equal to y. So u dash is and v dash is is dy dx. Because remember, when we're doing these little dash notations, it's for the whole question is about doing it with respect to x. So y with respect to x goes to dy by dx. We know that product rule does this crisscross shape. So we're going to have x dy dx plus y. So now we can differentiate bits that are kind of like merged together. And if you're going to do this without writing down u and v, you can see how you kept the first one the same and multiplied it by the derivative of y. You then differentiated the first part and kept the second part the same. So you're going to start getting dy by dx's like popping up mid-question rather than just at the very beginning. And the reason it comes up at the very beginning is because you had y as the subject. You're going to now pop it up during the middle because you don't have an explicit function. You have an implicit function. So we're going to try and do this one down here as well. We're going to try and differentiate with respect to x, e to the x squared y. So we're going to have u is e to the x squared and v. Oh, no, it's v. Let's not do that just yet, because there's going to be a product rule involved in this. But I didn't really see that. The y is actually a part of the power, OK? So we've got e to the blah. e to the blah will differentiate to e to the blah multiplied by the derivative of blah. So I'm just going to be doing now for this part, I'm going to do the product rule on that part that I've got there. So I have u is x squared and v is y. u dash is 2x, v dash is dy dx. So I'm going to have that crisscross pattern. So it's going to be x squared dy by dx plus 2xy. So that was a chain rule and a product rule combined together. And if I were to write that in a different way, I would probably start with my x squared dy dx plus 2xy brackets e to the x squared y like this. So do you see how it's the same rules we've been doing before, but it's just starting to get more complex the more things that we add in. So this was a chain rule, but when you were doing the derivative of the blah part, we also required the product rule. The product rule also required implicit differentiation as well. So it's like rules layered upon rules layered upon rules there.